Even when you're with your pets, you've got to be thinking, how can I recycle right? This is all the things that are left over from the different pets. So think about, remember those golden rules, keep it clean, keep it simple, size does matter, make sure it's safe for our workers, watch out for the dog poo and the dog bug, that doesn't go in the recycling, and also remember to keep rethinking, going up that waste hierarchy. Always remember to look for reuse, reduce, and even avoid some of this packaging if we can, even if it can be recycled. Okay, so let's have a look at some of our common items. Good old tin of dog food. It's empty, it hasn't been rinsed, but that's okay, it's empty, and it can still go into the recycling bin. The lid's inside, and if I'm really nice, I'll even squeeze it shut so that the lid doesn't fall out and it gets picked up with the magnet through our sorting process. Then we've also got, now this was an interesting one. This was, did you see this one? This is a gourmet one, Scooby. Now this one's actually aluminium and so is the tab that's on top. So what I do with this one, I put it in the recycling. It's empty, again, not washed, that's cool. But remember, size does matter, scrunch it up a little bit and then that'll be good to go into your recycling bin. Now this is an interesting one that I found. These little pouches. Now unfortunately, these cannot go into your recycling bin. But guess what? Even your fish food. This can go into the recycling, it's big enough. So with plastics, it's plastic bottles and containers. So this counts as a container and it's larger than a yogurt pot. So it's perfect to go into the recycling bin. I'd probably take the lid off, throw the lid into the rubbish and the container's good for recycling. If there was a little bit of foil that was left on top as a seal, you could collect that up with some other foil, even, oh hey, even inside there. And that foil will get picked up with the aluminium in recycling. What have we got here? We've got a bit of bird seed. It's in a cardboard box, which is great. It's only a small plastic window, that's fine, but that can go into your recycling just like that. Good old dry cat food. Now this bag is what we call soft plastic, so you can scrunch it. So it cannot go into your recycling bin, but you can take it back to the supermarket, get it into that soft plastic recycling at Red Cycle. That one's a pretty good size to go in there. This is the kitty litter. I've reused this old baking tray, believe it or not, as a kitty litter tray when I had a friend's cat stay here. And what I went and bought was some kitty litter that was made from recycled paper. It's fantastic to buy recycled as much as possible. So that's actually made from some of the paper you would have put in your recycling bin and it closes the loop and keeps that material going. And this can also then, when I empty that kitty litter tray, I'm not going to throw it in the rubbish bin. I'm not going to bag it in a plastic bag. I've actually got a bucket with the bottom cut out of it, holes drilled in the side. I've buried that way over in my garden, not near any food plants. And the worms will actually come in. So I'm going to tip the cat poo with the kitty litter into that bucket and the worms will come in and eat it and take it back out into the soil. Just remember, keep it away from your food plants because cat poop can be a little bit funky. But it's great to get that recycled paper used and keep that loop closed. Now with my dog poo bags, I only use those when I'm out in public. So I don't have to use them here in my little yard and I don't want to put my dog poo in the rubbish bin if I can help it. And that's why I use it in one of those worm buckets in my garden so that I don't use those plastic bags because they definitely can't go in the recycling bin. So even if things are made of recycled material, it doesn't mean you can put them into the recycling bin. Now, this big old aluminium tray, when it's finally done, I could actually scrunch that up and put that into the recycling bin as well. And I checked out this packet that the kitty litter came in and it is made of paper. You do that tear test, so that tears and that can go into the recycling bin when I finish with the kitty litter. So even when you're dealing with your pets, always remember, recycle right. Keep it clean, keep it simple, size does matter. Keep it safe for our workers who are sorting your recycling and always start to rethink. Ooh, try and avoid this little package that's gonna go in the rubbish bin wherever possible. There are so many other choices that we could think of. Remember, with your pets, you can also recycle right. So here in the bathroom, we can even be thinking we need to recycle right. There are so many things we can rescue from this room in our house as well. Now, this one is one to watch out for. It's the toothpaste tube. And that includes the baby wipes. These shouldn't be flushed down your toilet and they shouldn't go into the recycling bin. Try and recycle right the best you can in any room you're in. 
that includes your bathroom.